Hello, creatures. Today, we join the Yiga clan. You know the Shika clan? Nah, we're not about that anymore. We are fully about the Yiga clan. I accidentally already cleared this area, but we're gonna show you how to get every single bit of Yiga armor. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I will also be showing you how to get the lightning armor. So first off, when you are looking for it, you probably already have this. You're going to go up to the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. It's where you get the travel medallion. If you didn't know that, give it a like. So we're gonna go talk to these people over here. They're gonna notice that it is us. I recommend using a spear. It's gonna give you a lot of extra reach. It's gonna be really, really nice. And if you have a Zor, oh goodness, we are in trouble. Just gonna do a little bit of this and that. I should really be wearing my barbarian armor, but I felt like it'd be more appropriate to wear my Sheikah as the uh, get, infiltrating the Yiga clan outfit. But now that we're down to a single half heart, I can actually switch my weapon. Let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, that seems pretty solid. We'll grab this, and I think we might attach this one. We we could technically, technically. Oh wow, that's really bad. Let's get rid of that and put a decent set, a uh, decent weapon on here. So, you probably don't know this, but there are some really good weapons down in the depths where you can get unsullied knight's weapons. And once you get down to the last heart, you're gonna do mega damage. And I broke my last one, so what is a good fuse material to throw on here? Yeah, this seems appropriate. So now we're doing well over 100 damage. And also, if I just uh, throw a choo-choo jelly out, this Zora spear that we have down in the depths will also double its damage. So we're pretty well overpowered for this, but the reason that you wanted to do that fight is so that way you can get in here again. You've probably already done this for the travel medallion. Don't worry, I will be showing off the other spaces. So you'll probably talk to the person in here, get the first set of Yiga armor, and then we're going to go ahead and equip it. There it is. And our transformation has begun. All right, on to the next location. Next up, we're going to be heading to the Great Plateau. We're going to head over down below the Temple of Time ruins to the old man's old cabin. I think they've actually done a little bit of renovation over here. So we're going to go teleport over. I don't have any shrines unlocked here. So we're actually just going to head straight to the Hyrule Skyview Tower, jump all the way over here, and then we'll be there in half a second. I do recommend if you are taking that route from the Skyview Tower that you stop over here on one of the islands with the circular pond in it. It will almost always have a fairy or two there. It kind of depends how many fairies you have in your inventory. But if you're doing it the risky way that I am with practically zero health just to get that little extra bit of damage, you probably want that. Also, 10 out of 10, Tulin is probably the most useful extra little little guy to have here. Sage? There we go. The extra sage to have. And the wingsuit? Mm, my favorite piece of armor. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite piece of armor. It might be against the rules for me to say that some other piece of armor that isn't the armor that we're focusing on is my favorite. But <laughs> you can't really beat the mobility of the wingsuit, honestly. You get so much extra distance. It's something like twice as far if you're wearing the wingsuit uh, when you're like diving down. So, I believe we are head. Of course, it's raining. Ooh. A little shiny bit off to the right looks like a little separate side quest that we want to go on. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on all the future quests that will be taken out. Also, live streaming, like pretty much every day that I can. Okay, where? There you are. So you're gonna notice this is going to be the old man's cabin. It is no longer that. You should also go ahead and check out the Shrine of Resurrection when you get a chance. There are some secrets over there as well. Uh, if you're already up here, you may as well, right? So now we head down. I'm going to actually just, uh, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and ditch all of this for a little bit of barbarian armor. Have, oh, I actually do have a video up on this. Go check, go check that out as well. All right, gonna go in here because we have a couple of fairies. I'm not so worried about being on the singular health. We need to. There we go. Expecting him to teleport. Just a quick triple tap. Not too bad. Oh, I love, love the extra. Like, I don't know. You get different ways to play the game now. I know that pretty much all of them are just. A silver lion will attach to some sort of weapon. But I like that you get to build up new ways of playing. And because it was raining, I could have used my Zora gear. And this is how you get the little helmet head bit. You're just saving a whole bunch of fashion designers, really. So, gonna go ahead and go through. Ooh. 
I love the extra little log bit that you get there to be able to, to actually see all the chat if you're just spamming through it like I am here. <laughs> oh man. If you ever accidentally spam through everything, a little tip that I found, if you press and hold that screenshot button, you get the last 30 seconds saved. And then you can actually go back and frame by, that's me by the way, that's Link on the wall. That's their imp interpretation of Link. Uh, you'll get a 30 second clip of all of the dialogue that you did. All right, so on to the next shrine. I said shrine, I meant the next Yiga hideout. And it turns out this little black spot here is the spot that we want to head to. Luckily we do have a shrine unlocked, yes. Love some fast travel in games. It makes it so much easier. I couldn't imagine playing this game with just straight, no fast travel. We're gonna go ahead and drop a little marker here so that way I'm not skateboarding all the way off to the side like I shouldn't be doing. Oh no, it's uphill. I can't skateboard uphill. If you haven't yet, highly recommend fusing some sleds and carts to your shields. It's basically like Tony Hawk Link. I can't remember the actual name for any games. All right. There we go. Now we have a hill. Oh. This, this, this one feature might be one of my favorite pieces of the entire game. It's kind of ridiculous. It's such a small deal, but it's so much better. I love being, I'm totally off course here. All right. I think this might be the right spot. I was so far off. I skateboarded in the very wrong direction. You'll see, I, I went much further down. Look, little Yika frogs and don't talk to anyone outside when you're on these quests. Anyone that doesn't have a name, look, we'll go we'll go take a look at them. Anyone that doesn't have a name is most likely a Yiga foot soldier. Stick around to the end of the video because I want to interact with someone wearing my armor, see if they freak out. Ooh, hey, a cave. I believe that's where we need to be. Nice, okay. So now we're just gonna walk down here, I believe. Let's see, yep. Ah, there we go. We're just gonna go straight into this fight. Do you think I can? Ah, it didn't, it didn't work. Would have been cheeky if I could have gotten that. Cheeky, I have been watching too much Bluey. <laughs> Get through the dialogue. Wow, just let me do the thing. This will be really embarrassing if I die here. I have a half heart. I mean... Whoops. I expected... There we go. Oh. Woo! Little air slash there. No, thank you. Always sidestep to the left when he does a little overhead swing there also if you if you aren't doing it and he does this little earthquake like smash at you you saw it earlier you can jump in the air and get a little bit of air time there so now that we've done that i believe yep right here so this is where we want to be right up top it's gonna go up through the oh did i mess up wow that some of those take a second to go up here Here's the final fashionista of the day, and we're gonna be picking up some pants. All right, ooh, yes. Rescuing the pretty lady, you're welcome. Thank you, please. I want some pants for my legs. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> All right, now we have the full set of Yiga armor. Now, I'm gonna show you this. It is basically just a half version of the Sheikah armor, but it lets you look like a Yiga soldier. That, that was the important part because now, now we get to go and infiltrate the Yiga clan base. You know that place that we saw before uh, in Breath of the Wild? You probably played that. You probably already did that. So let's get moving. Yeah. So right here where we took the previous route from, uh, I think it was like a Gerudo mission to go and do this. Now we're going to go straight back to where we were before. If you have the Skyview Tower, just teleport there way super quick. You do have to be wearing, you have to be wearing the Yiga armor once you, when you approach this area. If you aren't, they won't let you in. They won't attack you necessarily, but you do need to be wearing your armor to get into here. And if you can get through the challenge here, you're gonna get a super special piece of armor that I highly recommend grabbing. This bit of snow may be a bit of a problem. I'm hopeful, oh, there we go. I'm hopeful, I'm gonna need to wear at least one piece of insulating something, right? Oh yeah, it's it's too cold for even my ruby shield. Okay. So again, the important thing is that you're wearing the Yiga armor when you come down to the Yiga base. I just need, I'm not wearing I'm wearing the Yiga booties and not my snow boots. I should have been doing that. I don't feel like the cart. Oh, should I even be bothering with a sled cart? I I'm I'm carrying both a sled and a cart shield. 
I wonder if you only need the cart shield. I'd be kind of sad if that if it was that simple. All right, we're going to head over here. I think there's one other spot to drop down. Yeah, one other spot heading straight. I was wrong. I was very wrong. Back this way. All right, cool, 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 cool. Uh, looks like I forgot to record the actual interaction here, but you're going to be walking up the pathway. Go into this gateway, and I will kind of show you the pathway that you need to go to actually finish this mission. <laughs> Remember, you have to be wearing all of your Yiga armor to actually get into this quest zone. And then we are going to come up here. You're going to want to talk to this guy here. He's going to tell you you need to be looking out, be keen-eyed. Also, there's a lot of Yiga-specific shops over here that you can buy stuff from. I would recommend, well, one, you can cut down that cloth there and get a secret chest. But you go this way up through this little, uh, not cave entrance, stairway. There is a secret chest over here that I did not grab because I didn't want to spend the time grabbing it. Secret chest there. We just go along this way. Take a... Mm, that's not right. <laughs> go in this direction. If you already did this in Breath of the Wild, you probably already know how to navigate it. But there is a cracked wall here that you can either explode or use your hammer. There's going to be a lot of them to get through. And then we go up through here in this direction. I'm incredibly sad that we did not record the things I wanted to record. But we are now in the Yiga training grounds. Don't worry. You can go ahead and use your ascend ability right here. And don't do the double tap backwards like I just did. I should really be double checking all of my all of my recording stuff because I, it's really sad when I don't record the things that happen. So you talk to Yiga Blade Master here. He's gonna, yeah. So it'll cost you a hundred. Yeah, it'll cost you a hundred to do it. I'll just go ahead and do the fight here. Just kind of show the whole scene. You're gonna do this three times in a row. What you're doing this for is to both get. Earthquake ability and the Lightning Helm. So, uh, what do I have equipped? I'm using a Zora armor plus Silver Lionel. The big thing about the Zora not armor, Zora spear, is if you get wet, you double the damage that you do. You can also use a Knight's Claymore like I was doing in the previous clip, where if I'm at one heart, you get double damage. But I ended up healing at some point for some reason. So, all we do is do this: grab a any plain choo choo, and now we're wet. And then you're just gonna kind of make sure that you're constantly running because when they they do they do some pretty good damage so if you are holding still they're going to end up getting you uh i'd say that oh, good just a little tap the reason that we want to use the spears is because it gives you a little bit of extra reach and it's a lot easier to catch these guys and then you just have to i don't whoops see i didn't move for half a second and they caught me and then how many am i supposed to catch here i feel like it's eight or something is that it? Is that the last bit? Ooh, I am no longer wet. So that little soaking wet bit does run out pretty quickly. Is that it? Oh, we have a minute to get as many as possible. Gotcha. I thought that you had to get everything done in less than a minute. Nope, you have one minute to be as many as possible. And then, I don't know if this is like other ones where you get a new record, you get more, uh, you get more from it, but you have to survive for the minute. Just kind of running around and slapping them with your Zora spear will be just enough. And then once you've done that, you're going to get the next following ability and then armor. Uh, let's see if we get anything new for getting a new record. We don't get anything. Okay, cool. But check this out. When you no longer have anything equipped, you're going to get the earthquake ability. And you get, you get what this guy had. So we now have an un... Uh, no weapon attack ability. You do have to charge it a little bit. I didn't actually test how much damage it does, but this is so cool. We now actually have something that we can actually fight without any weapons. Oh, and then also you get the... Where did it go? There it is. You get the lightning helm. They see this and don't see your face, so I guess that's enough to actually stand in here. But if you equip literally any other piece of armor... They immediately think that you're an intruder, even though they still can't see your face. So they're going to take take me outside, beat me up, and... Well, I guess this is what I get for not properly unpausing. Uh, I'm very likely to just die here, so we're going to... Actually, I died the last time I did this, so can I actually beat you? Ooh! Alright, well, same fate as last time. So, I don't know what part I didn't unpause for. Hopefully... 
Hopefully you got to see me actually pick up the lightning helm. Hopefully you saw that. Uh, man, I really don't like it when I don't unpause things. Anyways, when you take the helmet off when you're not wearing the Yiga outfit, you get taken out, out back and uh, destroyed. So, <laughs> let's go see what happens when we interact with a definitely Yiga spy wearing the Yiga armor. Alright, this person, definitely not a real person. Let's find out if they recognize the Yiga armor. Ah, a colleague. Well, I'm glad for your presence. I can't have you hanging around dressed like that. We're too close to the nearby Yiga branch to draw any unwanted attention. That's it. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, this is a very good way to test and make sure that they're Yiga before actually getting caught. I thought he would have done more than that. All right. Well, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, please drop a like on it. It really helps the algorithm out, makes it go to many more people just like you, and really like inflates my ego if you wanted to subscribe or something. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Drink your water, and I hope to see all of you creatures in the next one. Bye bye. I'd love to give a shout out to all of our members: I'm a Fralian, Cosmic Joker, Pasta Luke, Eric Tandler, Lady Nine F One. Thank you everyone for joining the channel. Your support is immensely appreciated and helps me come that much closer to becoming a full-time YouTuber. So thank you.